Hello everybody, my name is Lana. I live in France and making videos about fashion. If you're interested in such sort of content, please like and subscribe. And today I want to record very short video for you to compare two of my Lady Dior bags because you asked me on my Instagram. And I hope this video will be helpful for you if you are looking for your first Lady Dior bag. Of course, design is different. Here is embroidered bag and here is patent leisure. So this I don't need to tell you, of course. Size is absolutely the same. Like you see, two Lady Dior in size medium. One of them I have bought already one year ago and I have this video on my channel. Please visit and look. I will left link to that video in description below. And another one I bought last week on Vestia Collective. This is a pre-loved bag. It's patent leisure. First biggest difference, what I want to name in that little video, it's of course a price, it's a huge difference if you go to buy new Lady Dior bag. I would recommend you to look for special edition, for example, I find this embroidered bag, and for this it's worth to pay because um, you can't find it anywhere for the same price, okay. But if you want a classic Lady Dior and classic color, like this is a nude color, of course better to go to Vestier Collective, what I did, because you can find absolutely the same bag, like they sell now in a boutique. Maybe little difference, little, little differences, for example, I tell about this later. And uh, price will be three, three, four times maybe cheaper, <laughs> so you know, it's worth it. And second difference, it's of course uh, opener in a bag, uh, Lady Dior old version. It has um, this amazing zipper. By the way, Princess Diana had the same bag with a zipper, so this is rather a cool fact. And I wanted really to try this zipper fit. It's not so easy to access bag, of course, because of um, zipper, it's not easy to open. You must use both your hands, but I think it's worth it. It's rather cool to try something original, you know, because not exist anymore. And if you take recent bag, here we have flap. <laughs> flap is easier to get to the bag, okay? This is about size of your charms. Like I notice, letters are much thicker here. You know, each letter thicker and more heavy. If you take uh, this patent leisure bag, here is very, very slim letters and very light. But they're the same noisy and make a lot of noise. A big difference, this is a um, shoulder strap. In this um, pre-loved second-hand version, you have this very slim strap who can't go cross body. I will show you now. This strap impossible to get, you see, cross body. It's too short. But it's very good to use over the shoulder, like you see. It's no problem at all. But if you are a big lover of crossbody bag, of course, this is nothing for you. For me, it's uh, okay because I prefer to use my Lady Dior on a crook of the arm, so for me, it's totally okay. And a modern variant of Lady Dior, it has a very convenient strap who goes crossbody, like you see. It's easily coming crossbody. These are the main differences and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any more questions, please write in comment below and I will answer them, of course, very, very soon. And of course, my main question to you, which of two bags you like more and which one you would buy yourself? Please write, I'm very interested in that. Uh, put me like, I'd be very happy to have it. And I will be more than happy to see in my next video. Have a lovely day, guys. Bye.